give him bad, bitch. <laughs> well, he's got things to worry about. Shh, shut the fuck up. Cat's fluid, isn't it? It is. This is torture. Yeah, they don't want a baby. They're talking about children. <laughs> Have you heard? <laughs> oh my god, why does it seem like no one in the villa likes Molly anymore? It seems everybody was so excited when when it was announced that Zachariah and Mitchell were going on the date with the new bombshells, Charlotte and Leah. And the 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 you know the peanut gallery during the dates was I uh, was hysterical. I wish we'd got more of Whitney and Maddie commenting on the dates. This is what I've always said that they're the comedy couple that we need to give commentary. Um, but then anyway, hey there, it's Valerie. Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. In this episode, I'll be reviewing Love Island, season ten, episode eight. If you're new to my channel, please click the like button, turn on the notification bell for when I upload new videos, leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Am I the only one who's surprised that we didn't get to see the end of Catherine and Zachariah's conversation? I wish we had seen what the conclusion was. But anyway, they then moved on. And so we have Mitch having a conversation with Molly. Molly's loving the attention. She is really thriving with the attention she's getting from all the guys. And I don't know what's so standoutish about her. I think every season they have someone that they producers put on a pedestal and so they will give her as much attention as they feel she needs uh last season i think they wanted to give olivia and when it didn't work out with olivia because the fans turned on her after the zara incident they then moved on to ron and still it didn't serve any purpose and i think this season before it was Gemma, and i this season is definitely molly she's having a conversation saying that oh i didn't realize that you know zachariah was very serious about me i didn't expect them to kiss me so she's sort of putting all the blame subtly on Zachariah, which then winds Mitchell up because he's thinking, but Zachariah is my friend. How is he sort of making this much of an effort with someone that I told him that I already liked? I didn't like that. She should have taken a uh, responsibility for her own actions and let Zachariah speak to Mitchell and take ownership of his own actions. Um, and then you have Richie and Andre. I think the Richie and Andre drama is producer driven. I'm going to say it in advance. I think it's producer driven in the sense that out of the blue, Andre is telling um, Richie that he wants to try and push and sort of uh, talk to Catherine and see where their connection is and see what's going on. He appreciates that they have put a lot of effort into their relationship, but he feels he still wants to get to know Catherine. And it's like, Catherine hasn't shown him anything or done anything to show him that she's interested in him in the slightest so why would he get rid of a good thing just because of Catherine? i think the producers didn't want richie and andre to be the center of attention and because the fans have been asking for andre and richie they've decided to sort of put a sort of a, a divide between them that way the fans will focus back on who the, the producers want them to focus on which is zagariah mitchell and molly that's the impression that i get because since when Catherine was called by Zachariah, she was very excited. She made it she made it known that she really wasn't that into Andre. So I wasn't shocked when she didn't pay me any attention and he moved on. So for him to suddenly then decide that no, he wants to explore things with her, I don't get that. Um Tyreek, Tyreek, my guy and Ella, they had a conversation in which Tyreek was praised. I think Tyreek, I said this before, that Ella is bringing out a side of Tariq that he's never experienced before and this is scaring him because he's, he talks about all the positive things about Ella and the fact that normally in relationships he runs away and so he's looking for red flags and he can't seem to find any red flags with Ella and I think his only sort of protection is for him to tell Ella that I am open to getting to know a bombshell if a bombshell comes in that way she sort of protects herself because he he's worried that he I think he's trying to protect his heart. I think he can see himself falling in love with Ella. And I think he's looking for ways because he's unable to protect himself. He's decided to protect Ella. And the only way he can think of protecting Ella is by telling her that he is open to getting to know a bombshell. If a bombshell comes in, that's the impression that I got, that he's just trying to sort of make sure that she doesn't fully invest in him, which might backfire on him if she finds a bombshell that she likes and he doesn't. But anyway... So Catherine and Andre have a conversation in which Andre is sort of asked, telling Catherine that he's told Richie that he's open to getting to know Catherine because he feels it's a it's a relationship that was not fully explored, which does make sense. Uh, and he says he didn't want to explore it because he felt that 
there was no room, but he wants to know whether, you know, Catherine is open to getting to know him. And she says, well, you know, she, the reason why she went after Sakurai was because she wanted something different and she didn't want to, to go with uh, things that she normally does. And so now she's open and it's like, she's not open to getting to know you, Andre. She's open to the idea of staying in the villa. Yes. And if you are her passport to staying in the villa, then she's open to getting to know you. If if Zachariah were to sort of sort himself out and sort of come back to her, she would leave you in a flash. So I don't get why you are jeopardizing your relationship for her. So across the villa, you have Zachariah and Molly having a conversation, talking about their connection and how feel they feel they want to work on it and they want to continue to grow it. And Molly's excited with the attention she's getting from Zachariah. Molly likes the fact that when Zachariah came into the villa, he had a specific girl that or specific type of girl he was going after and after seeing her and kissing her he's she's managed to change his idea or his mind that's the impression that i get i don't think it's really a matter of she was attracted to him when he walked in i think it's the fact that she gets to take him away from someone that you know he came in expecting to be his person i think that's what she likes um just just dislikes molly she really dislikes molly and she's not here for molly's mess uh, so she's talking to to mitchell and catherine i think she was winding him up i think she was getting him ready and then she, she once she knew he was ready she sort of set him off to go after you know zachariah um molly of jess obviously says she's going to have a word with molly because she's not with whatever's happening in the fella and she has a conversation with molly and tells molly you need to speak to mitchell mitchell is upset mitchell refuses to speak to her zachariah goes to sit down um Mitchell Mitchell doesn't want to speak to Sakura because apparently Molly and Sakura were talking for two hours and everybody was watching them and, and it's like that's disrespectful. Very disrespectful because you've just seen Catherine cry after a conversation with Zachariah and then you go and sit with Zachariah and speak to him for two hours. That don't make no sense. Um and the villa was very messy. Uh, 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 Rishi is crying as well because she is saying, I feel like, you know, Andre used me to, to stay in the villa, you know, when he really wasn't that into me. And for me, I don't think that's it. I think the producers made Andre sort of try and explore things with Catherine because they didn't want his relationship to be smooth sailing from day one until the end because they always want drama with couples. I think Andre, I wish he knew that he, the, the fans love him with Rishi. He needs to stay with Rishi and that's it. Um, and then... I don't know. Everybody goes gets dreaded for bad, and you have Mitchell and Zachariah still having a go at each other, and it's like, what is it about Molly that stands out that makes the two of you want to go at each other's necks? Why? Why? It doesn't make sense. I really don't get it. So Andre goes to sleep downstairs because um Richie is still very upset with him after what he said, which makes sense. Uh, I don't understand why Catherine allowed Zachariah to sleep in the same bed with her. Zachariah should have gone to sleep downstairs. Mitchell tells uh, Molly that, you know, I've decided that um, you can explore things with uh, Zachariah. I am taking a step back. We are done. Do not expect anything or any attention from me. And that's it. And it's like, oh, that's a bit too over dramatic. But anyway, I don't know. Um, in the morning, Molly's now shocked. She's confiding in the girls that I don't get why uh, everyone is upset. I did tell everyone that I was open to getting to know Zachariah. So I don't know why everybody is now upset. And it's like, it's because Zachariah hasn't told everyone else what he's doing. He's told the guys, but he hasn't told Catherine exactly what he's doing. And when he did something wrong, he didn't take ownership of his mistakes and he didn't apologize. This is why everybody else is upset because his actions are now affecting everybody else in the sense that him sort of ignoring Catherine is leaving her open. And because she's open, Andre is now turning away from Richie because he wants to focus on Catherine because he feels that connection was not explored. You went for a connection with Catherine knowing that you were not really into her instead of leaving her. Had he left her with Andre and had Andre tried to work on his relationship with Catherine and realized that there was nothing there, he would have moved on and kept on with Richie. And also Mitchell, he is being told one thing by Molly and he's being told something else by Zachariah. This is why he's upset. And because all those people, five, three people are upset as a result of the two of you, this is now affecting the whole villa because people are now taking sides. Those that like Molly or think Molly and Zachariah right are taking your side and everybody else is taking everybody else's side. So 
I wish the two of you would take responsibility for your actions and you'd apologize to everybody. Zacharias, oh, I don't understand why everybody is upset. Everybody's upset because you made Catherine cry and then from there you went and you spent two hours with Molly and didn't see, didn't think it necessary to apologize to Catherine for all you put her through. That's why everybody in the villa is upset. It's not the fact that you're exploring things with Molly. You're free to do that, but it's the way you went about it that's upsetting everybody else. So Catherine and uh, Andre are still getting to know each other. They're talking about, you know, Catherine is sort of letting Andre know what happened between her and Zachariah in bed and how uncomfortable it was and what's going on in their, in their coupling. And then Zachariah comes and asks for a chat with Catherine. I don't think she should have given him the time of day. I think she should ignore him because they have a conversation and he says, oh, you know, he's open to getting to know Molly. But this is after things have gone left. Why did he not do this before? And Catherine was very easy on him. Oh, I just needed to sleep and now I'm awake and I feel in, I'm in a better space. I hate the fact that we weren't talking and we're upset with each other. And it's like, why are you making yourself seem so desperate? Just tell him, I'm sorry. I've moved on. You you do you, I do me. If we're meant to be, we will be. If we're not, that's it. But I'm not going to give you any time of day. Um, And then Catherine goes back to chatting with Andre and it's like, oh, I wish they'd left Andre and Richie alone. Uh, but hey, the producers have decided to mess up with them as well. I think because they were drawing attention from any, everyone else. Um, And then um, Sammy receives a message to say that two more bombshells are coming in and they have chosen the guys that they want to go on a date with and the guys will prepare a course of the meal for them. Zachariah has to make a, a starter and a main. Um, M Mitchell is making a, may, a starter, I think, as well, and a, and a dessert for someone else. And uh, Tyreek... <laughs> Tariq has to make a, a main and a dessert and you can see Ella was not with it. Ella was not with it at all. She wasn't having it. And the guys were laughing at the fact that uh, both of Molly's options are, have been invited on a date. And I think Sakurai is loving the attention. I don't see what's standoutish about him, but hey, it is what it is. Um, and I have to give it to Jess she, uh, and Ella because they called out uh, Molly that, you know, just let it be known that you are interested in Sakurai and you're enjoying the attention he's giving you. Don't try and pretend like, you know, you don't see what's happening. Just own up to your crap and deal with it. Oh my God. So the three guys, Tyreek, Mitchell and Zachariah are the ones going on a date with Charlotte and Leah. And <laughs> I love the peanut gallery. I love the terrace people. Molly and uh, Ella were pooping bricks. <laughs> Just crazy because they were so anxious. They were so worried and everybody else was in tears looking at how stressed Molly was, the way she kept picking because she said she thought that Charlotte was her friend. I think the girls, I don't think they really liked Zachariah. I don't think they were that into Zachariah. I think they were more into Mitch and um, Tyreek. Uh, but then this is not good for Ella because Ella is really smitten or she's falling in love with Tyreek. So I don't know how she'll feel about this. I like the fact that at one time the guys were sort of comforting uh, Ella because she looked very stressed and even the girls were telling her that you know Tariq is very much into you so the chances of anyone turning his head are very unlikely even he told Charlotte that you know I am in a coupling with Ella and it will take quite a lot for my head to turn so I don't think either one of the girls is going to turn his head they might try to pursue something but uh, I don't think they'll succeed because I think he's got a great thing going with Ella it would and it would be really sad for him to decide to recouple somebody else Ella looked stunning. Molly, <laughs> no one was empathizing with Molly from the moment it was announced who was going to go on the dates with the girls until the girls came in and she said one of them looked like her friend. None, no one was even sort of empathizing with her or sort of trying to comfort her when she, she looked very stressed. I think they liked the fact that somebody else was getting attention and the attention was being moved away from Molly because I think Molly had sort of taken attention from everybody else. So it's nice to get new girls coming to the villa. It's nice to get more storylines except for us continuing to follow Molly. But hey, it is what it is. Thanks guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.